becoming a father changed you as an actor? That's a good question. Um, I guess it's made me take certain things more seriously. Um, I'm much... I'm a more aware now of the transference that happens between a character and myself. And um, because when I'm with my son, I like, I become my me for him, you know, like the best Chris, the best dad, the best thing that I can be. But sometimes I notice transference from the character that I'm doing. And it either gets washed away or it sticks a bit. But it's made me more aware of how much intuitively the character I play affects who I am in real life. And I think it's something that uh, is a great lesson to learn because, you know, intuitive acting is part of what I do, part of my process, but I don't like it to have ramifications on my real life, as or as little as possible. I think Philip Seymour Hoffman put it really well. Um, when asked about, I believe, Mr. Cody and his character in Doubt, he said, well, in these characters, there's always a price to be paid. And um, I believe that too. It's like when you when you go on an artistic journey to portray a character, it does affect who you are. It has the, the chemical reactions, the neurological things that are going on are all the same. It's like dreaming and being awake. You know, your body sometimes doesn't know the difference, and they have impact on you. And um, you know, they have sometimes a cost on your real life. So I guess it made me more aware of that, which I'm thankful for. And with awareness can come one craft and also on my personal side, discipline. What's your favorite way to pass the time on set? It used to be reading, but ever since I got my iPad, I'm dumbing down and surfing YouTube, <laughs> tweeting, whatever, you know, get with the flow, that sort of stuff. What kind of stuff do you watch on YouTube? Dumb stuff like Ninja Cat, <laughs> <laughs> Baby Sucking on Lemons. <laughs> Is it easier to portray love or hate? I would say we have more, unfortunately, we have more experience with hate than we do with love, I would think. I mean, we have our parental loves, you know, we grew up with. But romantic love is fleeting. It's, it's very, it's a, it's an enigma. <laughs> And you know, it's difficult because you have to create it with somebody that you're working with, the connection. And it's very difficult to sometimes find that balance of like getting all of that synergy going. Whereas hate, you can just like go from a memory or you can pull from pull from experience and just drop it on something. Whereas love, it's harder to pull from like some extraneous love that you've had and dump it onto someone else. Because love is so personal. So much. Hate, that's an interesting thing. Love is personal. Hate can be generic. What's the difference between performing a love scene with a male actor versus a female actor? Really? First <laughs> <laughs> uh, thing that comes to mind is stubble. I don't know how women deal with it, but kissing someone who has stubble on their face is fucking atrocious. Um, yeah, I don't know. Having a love scene with a dude is like, that's real mental projection. You just kind of got to, you got to, you got to shut down certain physical things and just kind of, just take a raw essence of something and dump it on them, close your eyes and hope for the best. With a woman, you can engage with all of the things that you normally would, so... I mean, love scenes with men are very difficult because one, you're dealing with another man who is often extremely uncomfortable and like not sure how this relates to their own sexuality. In a remake of The Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. you get a choice between playing any of Dorothy's companions. Who do you pick? Oh, I gotta be the lion. I mean, I'm a Leo, I've got the hair, I'm kind of, I can do dopey really well. He's the one who's got no courage, right? Yeah. You know, I have enough insecurity deep down inside of me because of, you know, certain figures of my life <laughs> told me I'd never amount to anything. Um, to go with the courage, yeah, I could go with, you know, I could do the line. I like that. That's against type of you. That's good. More physical, because you got like the scarecrow build, right? Well, thanks, Jeremy. I didn't know. Oh, you're tall, you're skinny. Scarecrow's got no heart, right? Scarecrow's got no brains. I didn't mean it in that uh, way. Thanks. That's not what I meant. <laughs>